This video tutorial will help you learn how to add a specific email address or an entire domain to your personal blacklist on GFI Mail Essentials online email filtering system. This system allows Toma Area School District to continue to use Microsoft Outlook as its email system. It allows potentially legitimate email to come through the filter and assures that the source of the email is accurate. Individuals may or may not want certain email addresses or domains to come through the filter and have the ability to customize what is called a blacklist. This list blocks specific addresses or domains from coming through the filter. In order to access GFI Mail Essentials online, launch Internet Explorer. Select Start Email Filter. Log in by typing in your username, which is simply your email address, and your password. From the Common Tasks menu options, select Manage Your Blacklists. You can also find it up along the top by selecting the Preference tab and selecting My Blacklist there as well. I'm going to go back to the Home option just since I was there first. And from here, select the Buy From Address option on the left-hand side. At this point, return to Microsoft Outlook and open the email. Right-click on the sender's address and copy it. Go back to GFI Mail Essentials and right click and paste that address into the black box. And I'm going to paste it in twice so that I can show you two options. You'll notice that you see the sender's name and a left and right arrow around the email address. If you want to block just the email address, delete the name and the left arrow and the right arrow from around the address. If you wanted to block the entire domain, delete everything prior to and including the at symbol as well as the right arrow. Now you would only select one of these options. The first one will block just specifically that email, whereas the last one will block every single email coming from that domain. Select the option that you want to enter, repeat the process for any subsequent emails you would like to block, add them to lines below and click Save Changes. It's that easy. I'm not going to click Save Changes because I do want McGraw-Hill coming through my filter. As always, if you have any questions, contact Teresa Payne or myself, Renee Stroh-McClurg.